I got the achievement when she was here. Hey Mary, it's me again. Sunny Kill and Hero are with me this time. Do you visit Mary's grave a lot, Aubrey? Yeah, I, I try to, although some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes sometimes too, don't you? Every, right, every now and then. But maybe I should have visited more often. Hey, Hero, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Hey, Mary. I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. It's been so long, but I still miss you more than ever. I'm... I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm just... Really sorry. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I decided to keep pursuing this <laughs> three o'clock in the morning when I'm emotionally destroyed. <laughs> this game has wrecked me right now. Oh, yo, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah, we're here for you if you ever need us. Thanks, guys. Don't worry about me too much, okay? Yeah, this is for you, Mary. From all of us. I want... Do you want to have a picnic with Mary? Oh. Oh. Criminy. Gosh! <laughs> yes! Yes, I do! <laughs> I wish Sunny would speak. Maybe they're really saving it for like a big blowout, but it would be nice to hear Sunny's thoughts on things. I mean, I guess maybe it was supposed to determine where Sunny's at simply off of just uh choices we make um the, obviously the subtle animation changes as time has gone on maybe off of just head, the state of headspace in general headspace isn't looking too good so i don't know about that Well, those eyes are. <laughs> it's off. We giving somebody the eyes. the valley. They are said to be able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. <sighs> I think we could use some of that. Okay. <clears throat> uh, last thing last. Gotta drop off this CD. And then we visit Basil. This is gonna be a long one. This is gonna be a late one because it's already 3 o'clock in the morning. But I don't care at this point.
ghoulish. I know the song. This is a cover of Not So Empty, Not So Empty House. Well, that's nice. All right. It's time. Do a quick save just in case anything crazy happens. This is incorrect. It's down. It's down one. Here we go. Hey Polly, how's Basil doing? We were wondering if you could hang out to, if we could hang out with him today. Oh, hello everyone. I'm afraid Basil's at home right now. He's in the hospital. What? What happened? Oh, my apologies, let me clarify. Basil's in the hospital visiting his grandma. She was rushed to intensive care yesterday evening. Oh no, I'm really sorry to hear that. Do you know when he'll be back? I'm not exactly sure. Maybe sometime in the afternoon? Sorry. Would you mind if we checked back here later? We're all really worried about him. Is he gonna lose his grandma? Wait, oh, the old man in the graveyard said somebody's gonna be grieving tonight. Maybe that's what he meant? I don't mind at all. Please come by to visit. I think Basil would appreciate having some friends over. I'm happy to know that Basil has friends that care about him so much. No, it's nothing. Friends are supposed to be there for each other. Right, Aubrey? Yeah. Sure. Anyways, we'll be back later. See you, Polly. Well, I guess we have to wait till he gets back. Is there anything you guys want to do until then? Well, I'm okay just hanging out doing whatever. Then I vote somewhere indoors. It's way too hot today. Maybe we can hang out at our house a little. And then later when it cools down we can go see the treehouse. Oh, yeah, we should do that. Especially since Aubrey was with us now. Our old treehouse, huh? I haven't been there in so long. Yeah, we haven't yet either. Want to go see it yesterday, but it was too dark outside. How about you, Sonny? What did you want to do today? It's your last day. You should call the shots. Yeah. You should decide how we spend the last day in Faraway Town. Lead the way, Sonny. Well, I, I have done all the things. Well, I mean, we have we have done all the things. So, like, like, no, no worries about about that. Was that? Well, that was Mary's cat, right? Freaking this song, I swear. Kel certainly does have a lot of relatives. Uh, where did that cat go?
I wonder what the kids I was tutoring are. Like what they're up to now. Like the sun is about to set. Did you want to go to the treehouse now, Sonny? Yeah. Oh, Aubrey hasn't been here. Wow. Guess you really are moving away, huh, Sonny? <coughs> when I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away has been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years. And painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all that, I'm relieved that we were able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here. So that we can face this together. Okay, hero, I'll go first. Did... <sighs> hey, Sonny. When you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... I'll be Sonny. Actually, never mind. It's nothing. No, tell tell me, tell No, you should have told me when you had the chance. Is I know the trees cut down. I thought it was weird that they would cut down the the dad would cut down the tree. At the, just because it had the tree house in it, just because of a memory. But then it occurred to me that... Sure, it had the tree house in it, but he probably cut down the tree because that's where... Mary did it. That's probably where they found her. And that's... A lot. What's back there? This is where Mary... Yeah. It is. Oh, gosh. That does... That hurts. Well, cuz... Uh... But, like, why, though? And we're not gonna know why, because you... You just can't know why sometimes. You, you don't get to know why all the time. You know, it just happens. It's just a, ah, gosh. It just, it just hurts that, like, like that, that really, that is really it. Like, she, she really did that, and, and it was just sudden, and there was nothing they could have done about it. And that's, and that's it. Feels like forever ago. But I can still remember that day perfectly. That... That day was really busy. In the morning I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Was it the recital? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mary and Sonny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening,
Even after all this time, I, I still don't understand why she would do it. I, I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's, let's keep going. Oh, it was just back here a little deeper. So it's still up, it's, that was just, that was just the tree they cut down. Welcome to Headspace. Wow, this place has seen better days. But it looks like everything is right where we left it. All our old stuff is still here. Hey, look. Those are playing cards. That was the best of card games, wasn't it, guys? Mr. Plant Egg. Oh, her stuffed animal. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. This is where my cookbooks went. I think I stepped on a jack. Jacks are good. Th those jacks are OP in the beginning of the game. Alright, Kelso, don't screw around with those. Aw, oh, man, such good times. Hmm. Why did we have a toaster in here? <gasps> There's the last image. Aubrey and Basil made these together. So dirty. There. Good as new. I remember now. Kel brought this toaster in here. He said he wanted me to cook with it. Kel was such a weird kid. Man, I was the best at card games. <laughs> Kel brought it up here. I was pretty bummed when he found out he couldn't use it. Yeah, you can't use electronics up here, man. What the heck? He only knew how to walk the dog. He was cookbooks. Mary bought them for his birthday. The date of the recital has passed. So this, we never went into this tree house. This tree house is frozen in time on the, of, it's frozen in time of the day Mary killed herself. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. You put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look. Sonny found a photo of us. It was, oh, it was haunting. That photo was haunting, but what was more haunting is what was on the back. What does that mean? Don't forget it's in the toy box. And seeing Mary like so distant but way up high. We all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? This must be it. Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Sonny. We should add it in. There. Now the photo album is complete again. 
You know, this is probably the last time we'll all be together here in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea here, well, the photo album is already out. So we might as well, right Sonny? Let's start from the beginning. Well, obviously we already read through this. Ta-da! All summer we've been working on a treehouse in Sunny's backyard and today it's finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the window seals. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. her so much. I... I miss her too. Hey, come on guys, with the long faces. Look at all of us back together again. Mary would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. Only Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's why the forest is filled with pinwheels. I didn't even think about it. Look at all of them back here. You know, after everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now I realize I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In the few months after Mary died, everything changed so fast. Sonny and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports. He was, always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry how life kept moving on. I felt like everyone abandoned me. And abandoned Mary too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Sonny stopped coming to school... I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch, so I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of be uneasy about it at first, but after I begged him, he agreed. The walk was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. And when we got to his room, I tried to talk to him, but he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off, which is what he did when we visited him. That's when I spotted it, his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I wanted to see everyone happy again. But when I opened it, Basil had blacked out all of the photographs with a marker. I couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mary's face, all of our memories together. 
Felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused, angry, I thought he was a nutcase. Oh, is this what he did? So instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album and started calling him Creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. But you know what? Ever since that, I've been doing... All I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did. And I'm the one who was angry at him. Yeah, I was kind of waiting for like a revelation. Uh, like like a huge revelation. Now that is messed up. Basil, Basil doing that is messed up. But that being the thing that got her so upset at him... Is... I, I mean, it's like... It is... I think it's realistic. You know, there's not some big conspiracy there. However, that key on the back of the photograph, that is something. And I'm deeply, deeply disturbed about that. <laughs> oh, no. I'm such an idiot. Oh, wait. Whoa, wait, what was that? So they go forward, but this made Sunny back up. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At that time, I really didn't understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow made things worse. I was afraid I'd somehow make things worse, so I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. I'm sorry to you too, Sonny. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel, but I'm the oldest, so I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... No, it's fine. Everyone's here now, so it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Oh. Oh. Oh, sweetheart, it's... it's... You gotta, you gotta get rid of that idea. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? Oh, we got some music. I'm very, very interested in Sonny's reaction to Aubrey breaking down like this. There's something, there's still something between Sonny, Mary, and Basil that we don't, there's still something we are missing. I promise from now on I'll be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be there for each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Ah, uh, yeah, count me in. Wait, just one second. But you know, here we come. <laughs> We should go see if Basil is back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now he's probably the one that needs us the most. You think so? <sighs> probably.
Where is that toy box? Wait, I bet the toy box is in Mary's room. And we can't get into Mary's room. Mmm. Gotta save. That was a really nice image of all of them embracing each other like that. Ah, <sighs> you gotta heal. Guys, you gotta heal. The Amoy the piano. The plot keeps thickening. Whoa, wait, what? Wait, no, there was a door here. There absolutely was something here. There was a door here. What the heck? Did they board it? Did they like, did they like wall it off? That's crazy if that's true. I, that is a little much. I don't know about all that. Okay. Weird. Very strange. All right, time to see Basil. What is that? Wait, was that Basil's grandmother? Oh, crud. Oh, crud. Basil's grandmother. She didn't make it. Do you guys remember this place? This is the area we met you, Aubrey. Is it? Yeah, what about it? Oh, I remember you were crying on the sidewalk because you lost your shoe. Ah, uh, cute little Aubrey, Aubrey with a little pink bow. I remember her just like it was yesterday. <laughs> you thought I was cute, huh? Is that why you always picking on me? How would you get that idea? I never picked on you when we were kids. Uh huh. Sure, Cal. I didn't know that that little spot was actually. That was freaking eerie. Does 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 Sunny legitimately see dead people? Like is <laughs> Oh thank goodness you guys came back. Something wrong? Well, Basil is back home, but he's not talking to me. Oh no. Is there anything we can do to help? It's a bit hard to say right now. When Basil came back, he went straight to his room and locked the door. I haven't been able to get a word out of him since. Maybe he just needs some time alone. But... I don't know. I'm just worried. Could you guys try to talk to him? Of course. We'll do whatever we can to help. Thank you, everyone. Feel free to come in whenever you're ready. like the present. <sighs> okay. Let's do it. All by himself recently, so I'm sure he's lonely. It's nice to know Basil has friends who care about him so much.
Hi, Basil. It's Hero. I'm here with Kel, Aubrey, and Sunny. Well, here to see you. Is there anything we can do to help? I just want to let you know that we're here. Let us know if we need anything, okay? Maybe he just needs some time to himself. I'm really sorry to bother you. Don't worry about it, Polly. We've all been there before. If I've learned anything these past few days is that friends should be there for each other. Hey, Basil. This is Aubrey. I just wanted to say that I'm sorry for the way I've been treating you. Will you please say something? We just want to know that you're okay. I think we should stay here for him. Yeah, last time we all made the mistake of leaving each other when we needed each other the most. This time we'll stay together. Polly, do you think we can sleep here for the night? Oh, you're all so kind. Of course you can stay over. I think Basil would really appreciate that. I know it would mean a lot to him. Awesome. I call the couch. Ah, oh, this is all happening so fast? Okay, then since Kel wants the couch, everyone else can have a quilt. We have a lot of those. <laughs> Go grab them now. Hmm. Why do you get the couch? Well, duh, it's because I called it first. Now that hurt. Suppose so. What will get chips on the couch? talking about. Oh. Hey, Sonny. I know this probably wasn't the last night in town you were expecting. I just want you to know that even though you're moving away tomorrow, we'll always be friends. Uh, that's so cheesy, Hero. Yeah, I'm just saying what I'm thinking. It was always a big, always been a big softy, just like you, are we? What did you say? It's nice to hang out like this again. I've been so busy with school and studying, I don't really have time to make friends anymore. Well, you'll always have us, I guess. See, I was right. Look who's a softy now. Hmm. <laughs> I like how she gets the she has the couch, even though Kel <laughs> called it first. <laughs> but yeah, it's true. I know we'll always be. It's funny because it's like you still see the old Aubrey shine through. She's just like a little, a little harder, a little, little rough around the edges. I know we'll always be there for each other, just like I know that Mary's still with us too. You know, I hope we'll be able to see Basil before you leave tomorrow, Sonny. It'd be nice to have a proper goodbye. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna sleepy. And he's out. What the? Is he asleep already? He absolutely is. Yep, that's Kel for you. That's power to, that's the that's power to hasn't changed a bit. Hey, Sonny. Thank you for everything. It's probably been tough to leave your house after all this time, but I really appreciate you for doing it. I really appreciate you doing it for us. And hey, tomorrow's a big day. 
Hope you're not worried about moving to a new place. If anything, you got us. Life gets better. You just have to stay positive. Hmm. Life gets better, huh? Hey, Sonny. After you move away, you should, like, maybe come visit once in a while or something? Is that what she was- is that what you were gonna say before? Yeah, we can all go get sandwich- go out for some sandwiches. That was kind of specific. Well, maybe we can all go to the park. Or the beach. We'll just sit at home and watch TV. Who knows? We can do anything. Heh, <laughs> that sounds kind of nice. Do you think my new friends can come too? Of course they can, Aubrey. You don't have to ask. More the merrier, after all. Yeah, let's get the whole park gang. Come on, guys. Time to sleep already. Yeah, yeah. Good night, guys. Good night, Kel. Good night, Aubrey. Good night, Sunny. See you all in the morning. <laughs>